We're going to have the knees together or the knees wide. Um, I'm going to take the arms back, so that can maybe be a little bit more comfortable with the knees together. Take an inhale, kneeling as you exhale, fold forward. Take the arms back with the palms facing up towards the ceiling, rest the forehead down. If the forehead doesn't come all the way down to the floor, like Andy, use a block to rest the head onto it. Try and sit back to your heels as much as you can. That's it. Yes. So, is that more comfortable? No. <laughs> Do you want two blocks? No. I want it. <laughs> so, make it comfortable. Allow the upper body to rest down, head down towards the floor, onto the block if you want. You can move the block if you've got a rectangular block, depending which way you put it down in front of you, you can have different heights. So just adjust it to what's okay for you. Just going to spend a couple of moments here, checking in with yourself, with your body. How does it feel this morning getting out of bed? <coughs> maybe you've been up a while, maybe you've just gotten up. Just a little checklist <coughs> through the body. Seeing how you feel. On the next inhale, stretch the fingertips out in front. You lift your gaze and then stretching your arms through as you breathe out, uh, upper body drops back down into the floor, head rests down. Just starting to stretch a little bit more actively into your fingertips, lifting the elbows off the floor. And as you're reaching forward, you can also see if you can reach your bottom a little bit further back towards your heels. And then on the next inhale, lift your gaze. Walk both hands over to the left, place the right on top of the left hand, exhale, drop it back down. As you exhale, make sure that your right bottom reaches down towards your right heel. So it's a nice stretch from your right fingertips through the right side, right rib cage, right waist, all the way down to your right hip. Try not to let the hip come up. Keep dropping it down towards the floor. And then inhale, lift your gaze, walk both hands over to the right, left on top of right hand, exhale, drop it down. Now stretching through that left side. Just slowly waking the body up. Inhale, lift your gaze, walk the hands back to centre and then walk the hands back towards you, sitting back onto your heels. Swing the feet around and come to a cross leg position. If you need a block, pop it underneath you. And now the knees to relax and drop down towards the floor, sitting up nice and tall, long spine, chin parallel. Close the eyes, resting your hands onto your knees. Setting your intention for today's practice, maybe for also for the week or for the day. And this week I'm going to let you set your own intention. See what you'd like to work with. I've given you examples in the last couple of weeks, the last couple of weeks. Maybe just have a go at choosing something for yourself and sit with that for a moment. So letting that attention go and start tuning into your breath. Notice that breath flowing in and out through the nose. And feel that breath dropping down to your belly. Feel 
Feel that belly expand. Belly button moves away from your spine. Feel that breath leaving the belly. Belly button draws back inwards. Towards the spine. And following that breath all the way out back through the nose. See if you can make an even, steady breath. And then inhale, open the eyes, rolling over onto all fours, coming into our cat and cow. Wrists are about directly underneath your shoulders, spread the fingers, press the palms down, knees are hip width apart and the toes are lengthening to the back of the mat. As you inhale, lift your tailbone up, belly drops down, gaze lifts, exhale, round to the spine, head drops down, take the gaze through to your feet, tailbone goes down, inhale, lift the tailbone up, exhale, round through your spine, drop the tailbone down, inhale, lift. Exhale round. So as you get to know these postures, inhale lift. So keep going with your breath. I can spend less time maybe giving you explanations as what to do and just leave you in peace to actually practice them. Exhale, round, inhale, lift. Exhale, so your hips are tilting backwards and forwards. The belly lifts up and the belly then drops down. As you inhale and you're rounding through the spine, have that feeling of pushing down into the floor and away from the mat underneath you. Inhale forward, exhale round. Can you inhale forward one more time? On the next exhale, we're going to come to a neutral spine. Taking the, tucking the toes under, taking the hips up and back, coming to downward dog. Hold it there for a moment. Just going to start walking the dog from side to side. Bending one knee and extending the opposite leg and then switching it around, and just nice and slowly. Okay. And then holding on the next breath. Pushing the weight back towards the back of the mat, hips high, pressing the, uh, both hands firmly down into the mat. We're going to do a little flow from here. We're going to inhale into plank. We're going to do the first flow slowly. Adjust your plank. So as you come forward and you drop your hips down, make sure that you're in a good plank. So you may have to adjust your hands, your feet into the right position. Make sure the hands are underneath your shoulders, feet are lengthening so that the hips can be level to the floor. You're going to exhale, you rock forward onto your toes. Yeah. <coughs> yes, we are. <laughs> You're going to come forward onto your toes and then slowly, elbows start going back, slowly drop it all the way down, slow plank down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Tuck the toes, lift the seat up and back. So we're going to do that with the breath. Keeping the hands and feet exactly where they are that when you've just adjusted them. Don't move them when you come up into dog. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, rock forward, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down the dog. Inhale, forward, plank. Exhale, rock forward, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, so it's a slow breath out because you've got to get all the way up into downward dog. Inhale, forward, plank. Exhale, lower down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Slow that breath down on that last one. Inhale, come forward, plank. Exhale, rock forward, drop it down to the floor, nice and controlled. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, forward plank. Another couple. 
Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift into Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. One more. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, rock forward, come down. Nice and slow. Inhale, lift Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it there, take it inhale. Exhale, knees down to the floor. Take it back to child's pose. Nice and gently sit back to your heels. Upper body drops down. If you don't have a cat in front of you, <laughs> come on. More people have a go. So come back to your breath. Let the breath settle. I'm going to do that again. <clears throat> just want you to get into that nice flow. Literally just four movements. I want you to connect them with your breath. A steady breath. Breathing in, moving, breathing out, moving. Okay? We're working a bit on the core today, so... Come on, gorgeous. There you go. Okay, on the next inhale, lift your gaze. Come on to all fours. This time we know exactly where we're going. Touch the toes under, hips up and back, downward dog. So make sure that your hands and feet are in a good position to come forward into plank. So you may have to take the hands a little bit further in front. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, very slowly, lower down to the floor. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale. So you may be a little bit quicker or slower. Do it with your breath. I'm just talking you through it so you know where you're going. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, slow breath out. You have a little bit of weight to go to travel there. Inhale, forward plank. This time we're going to exhale lower. Don't touch down. You're going to inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Don't have to do that if you want to. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, lower. Don't touch down. Just as you touch down, inhale up. Plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it there. Well done. Hopefully getting a bit warmer. Come into your downward dog, pushing the hands into the floor, stretching through both arms, lifting the hips up nice and high. On the next inhale, bend into the knees, walk the hands back towards your feet. Upper body drops down, long spine. Feet are hip width apart, coming into a forward fold. Bend into the knees. See if you can connect your chest to your thighs, allow the head to hang heavy. Then on the next inhale, engage your core, slowly roll up and coming up to standing. Well done. So we're getting a little bit warmer, come towards the front of the mat. <coughs> we'll do a few sun suit A's and then we'll do a couple of sun suit B's. I'm going to do the sun suit B's with the warrior one coming forward, not lifting the leg up, but I'll talk you through it when we get there. Standing nice and tall into Dasana, allow the shoulders to relax, fingertips drop down, belly button draws back to your spine, chin is parallel. So you're into Dasana, you're already activating all of the different muscles, draw the knees up, and the muscles on top of the knees, draw them up, engage your core, just do like a three to four out of ten, but you're drawing that back. Stand up nice and tall, you can close the eyes for a moment. And see if you can maintain that breath with going through the sun salutes. Slow it down if you need to, that's absolutely fine. Open the eyes. Inhale, lift the hands up, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Drop the spine down, heavy head. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step it back, right foot, left foot, plank. Slowly lowering down towards the floor. Just as you come down, inhale, back up. Plank. Exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it there. 
Come back to your breath. Next inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot, come up halfway. Look up. Exhale, forward fold. Drop the head down. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step back, left foot, right foot, plank. Almost all the way down, just as you drop down. Inhale, push down into the hands, lift. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift into Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. A couple of breaths. Inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, left foot, right foot, come up halfway, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, use your core to lift you up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step back, right foot, left foot. Lowering down towards the floor. Just as you drop down, inhale, push back up. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lift into Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it there. So downward dog just gives you a little bit of recuperation time. Come back to your breath. Next, inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot. Coming up halfway, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift your gaze, and then exhale the hands to Tadasana. Inhale, worry, um, chair, bend into the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step back, left foot, right foot, plank. This time we're going to lower all the way down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog. According to an Amazon customer, Inhale, step right foot forward, drop the back foot into the floor, lift it up to Warrior One. Apologies, it's Alexa. Exhale, come into the ball of the back foot, step it back to the plank. Lowering down to the floor, thank you. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog. Inhale, step forward with your left foot, drop the back foot into the floor, lift it up, warrior one. Exhale, come forward, drop it down, plank, lowering all the way down to the floor. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward dog, hold it there. Apologies for that, we'll keep forgetting to switch them off before we start. Hmm. Take a nice deep breath into the nose, long breath out. Next, inhale, soften the knees, lift your gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot, come up halfway. Look up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift into chair, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, chair. Bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step it back. Right foot, left foot, plank. Lowering down nice and slowly, elbows go back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step forward with your right foot. Drop the left foot, enter the floor, lift it into warrior one. Exhale, so it's a long breath out as you take it back to plank. Lowering down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, <laughs> downward dog. Inhale, left foot comes forward, back foot drops into the floor, lift it, warrior one. Exhale, step it back to plank, nice and slowly, breathing out. Inhale, cobra, exhale, downward dog, hold it there. We're going to do one more round. Just take a couple of breaths here. Next, inhale, soften the knees, lift your gaze, step it forward, right foot, left foot, come up halfway, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift it into chair, lift the arms. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. 
Exhale, step back, left foot, right foot, plank. Lowering down towards the floor slowly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right step, foot forward, back foot into the floor, lift up, warrior one. Exhale, back to plank. Nice and slowly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward, right foot drops to the floor, and lift it up to warrior one. Exhale, step it back to plank. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Hold it there. Well done, everyone. Take a nice deep breath into the nose. And then maybe a big breath out to the mouth. Breathing in. And breathing out. Next, inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze, step it forward, left foot, right foot, come up halfway, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift it into chair. Exhale, Tadasana. Just a couple of moments here. Roll the shoulders back and down, relax the fingertips down towards the earth. Just a couple of breaths. Come back to your breathing, <clears throat> nice and steady. So hopefully feeling a little bit warmer now. You're going to take an inhale, step it back with your right foot coming into warrior two. So nice wide step. Front here lines up with the arch of the back foot. Take an inhale, exhale, bend into that front knee, bring the arms up shoulder height, palms facing down. Relax the shoulders, take the gaze over the middle finger of your front hand. Hold it there. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach your arms up around behind, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back and down. Take a breath in and then exhale, turn the shoulders and your chest forward to the front of the mat. You may want to shorten the stance a little bit because we're going to move up and down with the upper body. So maybe just take a little bit step back in with the back foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, use your core to lower all the way down, bringing the arms up and over behind you to the inside of that front knee. Drop the head down. Inhale, lift. Use your core. Exhale, lower. Come forward, drop it all the way down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. You're going to exhale, lower. Hold it there. Just a couple of breaths. Drop the head down. Let it be nice and heavy. Inhale, lift it all the way up, straighten through that front leg, hands to the waist. Coming into Trikonasana, so maybe shorten the stance if you need to. Adjust the feet as it's okay for you. Inhale, both arms up, shoulder height. Take an exhale. Inhale, reach forward, hips back, and then exhale, hands to that front shin, right fingertips reach up. Before we move, we're going to do a little bit of moving in Trikonasana today. Lift and rotate the chest up towards the ceiling. Gaze up if you want to, or look ahead, might be easier. You're going to inhale, bring the palms together, reach the fingertips to the front of the mat. Exhale, open out. Inhale, bring the palms together. Use your core to stay lifted. Exhale, open. Inhale, hands together. Exhale, open. You're going to inhale, bring the hands together, hold it there, interlace the fingers. First finger draws forward, hold. Keeping the arms together, inhale, slowly lift it all the way up. Exhale, hands to the waist. Excellent. Inhale, step forward. 
Exhale, step back, other side, warrior two. Breathing in, arms up, shoulder height, breathing out, bend into that front knee. Relax the shoulders, gaze over the middle finger of your front hand, just a chance to come back to your breathing. Make sure that the knee is on top of the ankle, not in front of it. Tailbone drops down. Outer edge of your back foot is connected in down into the mat. Take an inhale as you exhale, take the hands behind, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back and down, turn the chest, shoulders towards the front of the mat. Shorten the stance if you need to. I find sometimes I'm a little bit too wide to then lift up and down, I'll kind of lose my foundation. Take an inhale as you exhale, fold forward to the inside of that front knee, arms up and over, head drops down, inhale, lift. Keep the bend in the knee, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, nice and slow. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. And again, exhale. Inhale, lift. And again, exhale, forward fold. Last time on the fold, inhale, lift up. You're gonna exhale, forward fold, hold it there. Drop the head down. Inhale, lift it up, let go of the hands, straighten through that front leg, hands to the waist. Inhale, both arms up, shoulder height, palms down, take an exhale. Inhale, reach forward, hips back, exhale, hands to the shin, left fingertips draw up to the sky. It's important that you move and rotate the heart up towards the ceiling so that you have, that you're bringing the underside waist and the underside hip underneath you and the left shoulder is stacked on top of your right shoulder. You look forward or look up, and then we're gonna start moving. Inhale, bring the palms together, forward. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift both arms together. Exhale. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Next, inhale, lift. Keep the hands together, interlace the fingers first, finger draws forward. Hold it there. Try and maintain a steady breath, nice and easy breathing. And then inhale, keeping the arms together, lift it up, use your core. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, step it forward, Tadasana. Well done. Just a moment in Tadasana, find your feet, feel the mat underneath you, roll the shoulders back and down. Very nice. Take an inhale, step out with the right foot. Prasavita. Turn the toes in, heels out, hands to the waist. Take an inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward, drop the hands down underneath you. Have both hands directly underneath your head, so you're not taking the hands back. We're going to move with the arms. You're going to inhale, right fingertips up. So a little twist in your waist. Really reach as high up as you can. Exhale, centre. Inhale, left side. Reach it all the way up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, other side. So you can use the hand that's on the floor, exhale, centre, to help you with that twist. So push down into the earth with the bottom hand to get into that twist a bit more. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more time, other side. Inhale, left fingertips reach up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, fingertips. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, left toes forward. Step it in with the right foot so both hips track forward. Reach behind, opposite elbows. Lift it up on the inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Bring that heart over your thigh. Gaze to your big toe. Hold it there.
inhale, lift it up, exhale, hands to the waist. We're going to come into half moon, which is similar to warrior three, but instead of going forward, we're going to open up out to the side. If you want to use a block, please feel free to do so. I should have said put it to the front of the mat. If you, you don't have to, you may be okay without it, but try with both. You're going to inhale, you're going to shift your weight forward, a little bend into the knee, reach the left hand to the floor, or the block if you need to, lift that back leg up, and then first just find your balance here, back leg parallel to the floor. So come to this position first, and just find your balance before you do anything else. Then on the next inhale, so like Andy, he's going to use a block to just elevate so you can be a bit more steady, a little bit higher up. Okay. Once you've found your balance, inhale, you're going to lift your right shoulder up, bring the left shoulder <coughs> underneath, and then open that right finger tips up towards the ceiling. So you want to bring that right shoulder on top of the left shoulder. Fine, stay balanced. And then if you can, take your gaze over to the right, nice and slowly. Don't have to, keep the look down if you need to. Okay, stay. Hold your balance, nice and easy. Take it in as you exhale, take the gaze back down. Steady, inhale, exhale. Take that right hand, drop it all the way down, turn the hips forward, keep the right leg lifted, and then drop the upper body down, head down, keep lifting that right leg up behind you. Standing splits. Might not look like a split, but that's what we're working towards. Yeah? <laughs> Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop that right foot down, come into a forward fold. Feet parallel. Upper body drops down nice and easy. Rest your chest onto your thigh. Bend into the knees if you need to. Head is nice and heavy, spine long. Inhale onto your fingertips, exhale the hands to the waist. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Well done. Okay, so maybe the other side may be a little bit easier, second time, because you know where you're going. Just have a go, it's just a bit of fun. If you wobble, fall over, try and come back into it. You know, it's just a pose, so try not to stress about it. Take an inhale, step it out with the left foot, toes in, heels out, hands to the hips, by the vita. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale, fold forward onto your fingertips. Inhale, look up, and then exhale, drop both hands down. You're going to stay the same as before, both hands underneath your head. You're going to take the left hand into the center. Inhale, right fingertips up, and you're just going to hold it there in that twist. Pressing that left hand down into the floor, and use that so that you can twist around a little bit more, keep the right fingertips reaching up. Lovely. Take an inhale as you exhale, hands come down. That right hand is now directly underneath you. Inhale, left fingertips up, pressing down into those right. If you have the fingertips, that's fine as well. Just use the fingertips to help you with that rotation. Lifting the left fingertips up as high as you can. Yeah, into that twist. Take an inhale, as you exhale, hands drop back down. Inhale, fingertips. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, right, finger, uh, right toes forward. Step the left foot in. Turn the hips to face the front of the mat. Reach behind. Switch that grip around. Um, Grip opposite elbows, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold forward. Soften down into that space in front of you. Take your gaze to your big toe, both legs straight. You can have a little micro bend in that front knee, but try and lengthen through both legs. Don't lock the knees, though.
Inhale, lift it up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the waist. So we're gonna come into half moon. Inhale, shift the weight forward and just reach the hand to the block or the floor and just steady yourself first and then lift the back leg off the floor parallel. Once you're steady, move the left hip, keep lifting it up, taking the right hip underneath you and then extending the left fingertips up to the sky. Okay, to keep the gaze down for the moment. Just set your posture up first. Then slowly, if you want to, start taking your gaze over to the left. Nice and steady, hold it there. Standing leg needs to be very strong, switched on. Not locking the knee out, but it has to be switched on. Feel that whole foot underneath you. Take an inhale, as you exhale, left hand comes forward, drops down to the floor. Take the hips forward, so they're facing the front of the mat. Keep that left leg lifted. Inhale, as you exhale, drop that foot down, come back into your forward fold. Relax the upper body, drop the chest down towards your thigh, head nice and heavy, spine long. Come back to your breath. Switch that core on, inhale, slowly lift it up. Exhale back to Tadasana. Well done, guys. Okay, little vanyasa down to plank. Standing nice and tall. Inhale, lift it up, lift your gaze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, step it back to plank and hold it there. If it's too tricky to be up here, you can drop the knees down to the mat. I think everyone will be okay in full plank. Take an inhale, as you exhale, we're going to come into a twist. So we're going to take both heels over to the left. You're going to stack the right foot on top of your left foot, but keeping both hands firmly planted into the mat. There's a twist. Chest down, hands down, feet taken over to the left. Hold it there. Inhale, centre. Exhale, take both heels over to the right. So left foot on top of your right foot, both hands down, chest forward. The right hip comes underneath, left hip lifts up. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, lower it down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, bring one shin forward, other one behind. Take it through to seated. Or come forward in any way you can. Oh, he's nearly done it. Get to there. Yeah, and then sit back. <laughs> Almost. Just in a, it, however you can. We're going to do that another couple of times, so we'll keep it with the flow on the next round. Inhale, lift into boat. So this is the... <laughs> we haven't finished yet. Okay. If you need to adjust, bend the knees, shin parallels to the floor, gaze to your big toes, hands parallel coming out to the side of your legs, not out but just tracking alongside the, um, your shins. If you want it a bit more difficult, lift the legs. And leave the feet down, yeah. Or if you want to, <laughs> feet down, but toes up, hands behind knees. But I think you can all do a little bit better than that.
Take an inhale, cross the shins, bring the feet towards you, grab hold of them, drop them down. Roll forward onto all fours, exhale, step it back to plank. Inhale, you're going to come into right side plank, shift the weight over to the right side. Make sure the wrist is directly underneath your shoulders, not in front or behind. Left foot on top of right foot, left fingertips reach up. If you need to support the side plank, step forward with the left foot and use that to push you up. Hold it there. Inhale, as you exhale, come forward to plank. Take an inhale here. You're going to exhale slowly. Just before you drop down to the floor, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, back down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, one chin forward, the other one behind. Take it through to seated. Exhale, inhale, float. <laughs> We're going to move the arms this time. We're going to inhale, right fingertips just open up to the side. Exhale, centre. Inhale, left side. Exhale. Inhale, right side. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. And again. Right side, reach out to the side, exhale, inhale, left side, exhale, inhale, shins come towards you, cross them, grab hold of the feet, roll it over, step it back to plank, hold it there, left side plank, shift the weight over to the left, make sure your wrist is underneath the shoulder, Step your right foot on top of the left, and right fingertips reach up. If you want to support it, step forward with your right foot. That foot needs to come up about halfway up the mat to help with that support. Take an inhale, as you exhale, come back to plank, face forward, breathing in. As you exhale, slowly lower, and then just before we drop down, inhale, push it back up to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, one chin forward, other one behind, take it through to seated. Last boat. Inhale, both feet up, either shins parallel or extend both legs. This time we're going to work with both arms. Inhale, open. Stay nice and balanced. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Nice and slow with the breath, so we want to start speeding up, but we need to slow it down. Inhale, exhale, inhale one more time, exhale slowly, inhale, cross the shins, grab hold of the feet, drop them down. Take a breather, take an inhale, exhale, roll it over onto all fours. Come back on your mat, take the knees wide, come to child's pose, sit back to your seats, arms out in front, upper body drops down, just to cut the breath. Just a little reset. Tune back into yourself, into your body, your breath. Maybe come back to the intention that you set right at the beginning of the class. If that was centred around your practice, maybe not. But just take a moment. Allow your breath to settle.
Take an inhale, lift your gaze, walk the hands back towards you. And then take your seat over to the left, swing the feet round to your right and out in front. Having said that, you're going to bend the, right, uh, the left knee, lengthen the shin along the floor with the toes tracking to the back. The right foot comes to the top of that left knee, sitting up nice and tall. Take an inhale, as you exhale, twist round to the right. Right fingertips can drop behind you or keep tracking around your waist to make it a little bit more harder. Left hand behind your right knee, take the gaze over your right shoulder. That's your right foot. Your right foot is to the top of your left knee, to the inside of the left knee. Inside. That's it. So keeping that right hand off the floor means you're using that core a little bit more to stay lifted. But if you need the support, drop the fingertips down, that's absolutely fine. Hold it there. Take it in now. as you exhale, come back to centre. Switch it around the other side. Right chin lengthens, toes to the back, the left foot to the top of your right knee. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale as you exhale, left fingertips reach round or drop to the mat. Right hand behind your left knee. Keep looking over your left shoulder. That's it. Oh. If you've got cramp, just come out of it for a moment. Take it in and as you exhale, come back to centre, both legs back out in the front. So I've discovered a new pose, it's called the Cosmic Egg. The what? Cosmic Egg. I thought that sounded quite nice, so we're going to do it. Find your balance on your sitting bones, the same as you do in boat. It's very similar to boat, you just don't have to extend the legs, so it should be a little bit easier. Lift the feet off the floor, tuck the knees in towards you, and you can hold the front of the knees, or you can extend the arms out. But I think... You've worked quite hard, so if you want to support the uphold of the front, hold it there. Breathe in. As you breathe out, drop the feet back down. You're going to roll down onto your back, you're going to come into a bridge. You're going to flow a little bit and then hold it, just to stretch out for the front of the body. So bending the knees, take the feet very close to your bottom, so you can almost reach them with your fingertips. Feet are hip width apart, so not out to the side, not really narrow hip width. You're going to have the arms alongside the body with the palms down. Inhale, you're going to lift the hips up, push down into your feet, and until they come all the way up, and then exhale slowly, roll back through the upper, middle, lower back until the hips drop back down to the floor. Inhale, lift. And as before, with any flow, go with your breath in your time. All you're doing is lifting the hips up and down with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower. As you lower down the hips, see if you can just have a little push of your lower back down into the mat, just to release that a little bit more, just gently. And then inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower. Then on the next inhale, when the hips are up, you're going to leave them up. If you want to roll onto your shoulders, come and lift a little bit higher you can, and you can bring the arms underneath, interlace the hands, and then keep lifting the hips up. Make sure that the toes stay down, feet are grounded into the ground. Keep lifting. Each time you breathe out, pushing down into your feet, into your shoulders, lifting the hips a little bit higher.
Take an inhale. As you exhale, if you have the hands underneath you, take them alongside the body. Palms down, slowly roll it down. And then once the hips have dropped back to the floor, take the knees from side to side. Big sweeps of the knees, left to right, just a couple of times. And then on the next one, come up into centre. Take both knees into the chest, little hug in. Keep the right knee hugged in, stretch the left leg away, right arm out, shoulder height, palm up. Take an inhale as you exhale, drop that knee over to your left. Keep the right shoulder down. Take the gaze to the palm of your right hand. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, stretch your right leg away, the left knee in. Take a breath here, take an inhale as you exhale. Drop that right knee over to the right, the left arm extends out to the left, palm up. And then look left towards your palm. So this kind of twist is nice to do at any time for anything really. Just a really nice <coughs> release for your back. Little stretch of long across of the hips maybe. And then inhale, come back to centre and drop both feet to the floor. So we're going to come into a shoulder stand. If you haven't practiced shoulder stand, then please just Maybe use a block or a pillow underneath you. So to do that, you're going to lift the hips up, place the block underneath you, just uh, yeah, sort of between the lower back and your bottom, more towards your bottom. And then you're going to inhale, take the legs up, arms out to the side. So just the same as Andy's doing, he's going to take an adjusted shoulder stand. If you have got shoulder stand in your practice, you don't need a block. Arms alongside the body, palms facing down. You use your core to lift the hips up and knees in towards your forehead, then placing the hands on your back, slowly walk the hands up, and then extend both legs up towards the ceiling, and take the gaze to your big toes. Hold it there, we're gonna stay here for about a minute. And then slowly coming out, if you have a block underneath you, bend the knees, place the feet down and remove the block. If you're in a full shoulder stand, slowly bend the knees back towards your forehead. Then once they're there, extend both arms out, palms down, slowly roll it down, all the way. Bend both knees, feet down to the floor. I'm going to come into fish. Lift the hips up and then you're going to take both arms underneath you with the palms down and then drop your bottom back onto your hands. Now extend both legs, point the toes towards the front of the mat. You're going to lift up and come onto your elbows, walk the elbows towards each other underneath the chest. As high as you can, lift the chest up so your shoulders roll back and down and then take an inhale as you exhale, gaze goes back. If you can reach the head down towards the floor, please do. If not, don't worry, you can allow the head to drop. Big breath in through the front of that body. Feel that chest expand on the inhale.
Take an inhale, as you exhale, walk the elbows out to the side, allow the body to drop down, and then once you're fully on the floor, you can bend the knees, lift the hips, take the hands out from underneath you. Just a couple of moments here. Then when you're ready, take the knees into the chest, hands behind the knees, walk it up to seated, cross legs sitting up nice and tall. Not long here, we're just going to revisit the intention we set at the beginning and then we'll come into Shavasana. You can extend both arms in front or just rest the hands to the knees. Connect forefinger to thumb into chin mudra. Close the eyes. Sit nice and tall, long spine. Come back to the intention you set at the beginning of the class. And just sit with that for a couple of moments. Let that intention go. Taking your attention back to your breath. Allow the breath to freely flow. Maybe just notice the quietness around you. And the only thing that's moving is your breath. The only thing that is expanding inside your body is your breath. Let that breath go. And maybe if you can keep the eyes closed, really slowly make your way down to Shavasana, where you're going to lie on your back, stretch the legs out in front. If your lower back has given you any niggles, you can always keep the knees bent. That's okay as well. Relax the whole body down into the floor. If you want to adjust your head and lengthen through the neck, please do. If you want to stretch the heels away and lengthen through both legs, you can do that as well. Come into Shavasana, just come with, an, with the intention of resting with the intention of nothing to do, with the intention of being fully present in your body and your mind. giving yourself permission to rest, especially when you've worked really hard, when it's been a tough class. Give yourself that time to rest, to let the body process what it's just done, just like the mind, the body also sometimes needs time process new movements, new ways of doing things.
and slowly bring a little bit of movement back to the body. So if the fingers are wriggle and the toes are wriggle. And a really nice way to, to open and wake the body up even more is through a deep breath. Deep breath into the nose and then a big breath out. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Deep breath in. Big breath out. On the next inhale, sweep the arms up behind you, bring the feet together, long stretch. As you breathe out, bring the arms up and over, knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, and it will rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, keep the knees tucked, the eyes closed, roll it over to your right side, allow the knees to drop down to the floor, relax them, relax the legs. last few moments. And then when you're ready, press the left hand to the floor. Use that to push yourself back to seated position. Find a gentle and comfortable position to sit in. You can sit on a block Stretch the legs out in front or cross-legged. When you're ready, pressing the palms together, gently pressing that thumb back to your chest. I'm going to close the practice with one round of OM. Take a deep breath in. Wishing your peace in your thoughts, in your words, your actions, your heart, Om Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for your practice.